Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he knows a little bit more about Minecraft. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, we are talking about fish. Fishing is great because you can do it anywhere and it is an endless supply of food. And you can even get items in a pinch. So here are a bunch of fishing tips for all your fishing needs. So first, let's start off with the basics. This is the crafting recipe. You put three sticks in and two string down, and then you get a fishing rod. Oh, I'm in creative, so it just uh, disappeared. So let's go ahead and grab a fishing rod. Fishing is pretty simple. Once you have a fishing rod, you can throw it into a lake. Uh, this is just the 101 basic sort of stuff. And little particles will appear in the lake. You can kind of see them. They don't exist when you don't have the bobber in the lake. And then eventually, and hopefully this will happen fast, otherwise I'll have to keep vamping, uh, there will be a trail of these particles leading towards the lure, and I'll be able to pull a fish out of the water, or pull whatever uh, happens to come out of the water out of the water. And it looks like this isn't gonna... Oh, here it comes! Here it comes! Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, perfect timing! Bam! There we go, and we got a fish. We just got a normal fish uh, right here. You can get... Uh, normal fish, you can get puffer fish, you can get clownfish, and you can get salmon. Uh, those are the types of fish. But on top of that, you can also get uh, treasure and junk. And we'll get to that in just a second. So while you are fishing, there is a 85% chance that you will catch a fish. There is a 10% chance of catching junk. And there is a 5% chance of getting treasure. So treasure... Whoop, let's take that back. Treasure are these items here. You got bows, you got enchanted books, you can get another fishing rod, a name tag, a saddle, or a lily pad. And in the junk category, we got bowls. We have more fishing rods. Those are in both categories. Uh, leather, boots, rotten flesh, sticks, string, water uh, bottles, uh, bones, ink sacks, and trip wire hooks, which I would actually consider that to be treasure because that costs a full ingot, so that's kind of a nice thing. Uh, I just got some uh, boots, which were in the trash category, and you can see that they are quite a bit degraded down below. So let's talk a little bit about enchanting. If you're going to enchant your bow, each enchanting level of luck of the sea, which is one that can be applied to a rod, I think I just said bow, uh, each of these Luck of the Sea enchantments uh, will decrease your chance of getting junk by 2.5% and increase your chance of getting treasure by 1%. Now, if you're going to enchant lure, or if you happen to enchant lure, uh, that decreases the chance of both treasure by 1% and junk by 1%. So if the best, if you really want to get treasure, the best enchantment to get is Luck of the Sea 3, and the best enchantments for getting fish are both Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure 3, uh, if you want that. And if you really just want to pick up junk, just don't have any enchantment on your fishing rod at all. So the way that the amount of time works until the fish comes is that the server, once the lure hits the water, will choose randomly an amount of ticks. I believe it's between 100 to 500 ticks, something like that. Uh, it's about 5 to 45 seconds. Now, if it's raining, like it is now, uh, this actually decreases by 25% the amount of time that you'll have to wait before a fish uh, and we just got one, uh, attacks the lure. Now, it is actually doubled, uh, so it's uh, about, uh, you know, 100% more. <laughs> uh, it's a floating, floating lure there. Um, it's doubled if this, if you lure into uh, an area that, I don't know why that is happening, if, uh, if it's covered. So if you're indoors, it's actually going to take twice as long to catch a fish. Now, uh, the durability of an item, and I can switch into game mode, oops, I already passed it up, there we go, game mode zero. The durability of a uh, fishing rod uh, will decrease if you hit a block uh, by two durability points. So if I go ahead and just hit a block, 
and then pull it back, it's actually decreased by two durability points. But if it lands in the water and you just happen to take it back, it actually won't degrade uh, at all. Or if you, say, miss a, uh, a fish, like if a, a fish comes and attacks the lure and you forget to uh, pull it in, that doesn't degrade it at all. And there's also a way to miss a degrade because it always happens when you pull the lure out instead of dropping it in. So you could just switch away to another item and then the lure disappears. So if you are really worried about losing uh, some, uh, some uh, degradation on your rod, you can uh, throw it out and then just switch to another item and uh, it doesn't degrade. There's a, a little pro tip for you. And finally, it will degrade by three points if you hit a mob. So if we were to find a sheep or a cow or a pig or a zombie or skeleton, that type of thing, or a player even, uh, if you were to hit some sort of entity in the world, it will actually degrade by three points. And uh, if, if you send it into the water and it hits a block once it's in the water, that also counts as hitting that block uh, in terms of degradation. Also, don't forget that you can combine a carrot and a fishing rod, and you get a carrot on a stick, which pigs are attracted to, and you can put a saddle on a pig, ride it all around, it's a whole bunch of fun. If you have any tips that you'd like to send our way, feel free to send, send us feedback at mail at omgcraft.com. And if you'd like to follow uh, the channel, make sure you head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.